Every year, the Grow Detroit's Young Talent Program gives 8,000 teens and young adults a chance to learn valuable career skills and earn money during the summer. There's a wide range of jobs available, and the young people are matched to employers based on their interests, their skill levels, and their accessibility. Here to tell us more is Kate Cherry from Connect Detroit, which manages the citywide program, along with employer Dr. Grenade Dudley of the Youth Connection, and Maya Nixon, who is working at the Youth Connection for the summer. Welcome all of you to American Black Journal. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So this is one of my favorite programs uh, in the city, and I keep trying to encourage my kids uh, to, to participate. <laughs> I haven't quite got there. I say we uh, don't have the call. Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah. But, uh, but talk about uh, where this idea comes from and how important this is to young people. Sure, sure, sure. So uh, back in uh, 2008, 2009, uh, we had a, a lot of interest in summer youth employment programming in the city. And uh, um, my organization, City Connect Detroit, Connect Detroit Now, got involved in it with the Skillman Foundation and a, a small group of partners. Uh, it's grown tremendously every year since. Uh, this year we'll hit about 8,000 and young people in large part to support from the city uh, from a network of 75 80 community-based organizations uh, and well over a hundred for-profit employers who help uh, make this program come together for last year 8200 kids yeah yeah I, one of the things that uh, I think uh, holds people back or kids back from from doing this is that nervousness about okay well what are they gonna want me to do and how will I fit in uh, at the place uh, that I'm going? You guys do a lot to make that transition a lot easier. Sure, sure, sure. I mean, we get a lot of, first of all, we get a lot of calls from parents. Yeah. That's where they start, right? <laughs> right. Uh, but we also get a lot of emails from kids, a lot of walk-ins from kids. Yeah. Um, and. And that's something we've had to learn along the way. The first year, the idea was really, this is just an employment experience. Uh, we started with 300 young people. And then we, as we scaled up, we realized that these are young people coming from all walks of life, all over the city, with lots of different experiences. And some of them need a little more hand-holding. <laughs> you know, when you've grown up in a tough uh, situation, it's not always easy to find your birth certificate to become an employee, right? right that kind of that's thing. A great, uh, uh, that's a great point. So every that. year, we're trying to scale up the, the services and supports that underlie the work to just make it easier for one more kid to find one more experience. Yeah, yeah. Uh, tell me about uh, what's going on at your business with uh, Grow Detroit's Young Well, Cal. we've been involved since its inception. I guess that's 11 years now. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> but uh, we have been a lead agency for the last three years or so. Mm -hmm. So we're responsible for 200 of those 8,000 youth this right? summer. Wow. Maya is one of those youth. Um, <laughs> but I think one of the things that all of our um, organizations are doing is having to prep those kids prior to placement with employers. Yeah. So we're required to do about 12 hours of training. So it's workforce development, it's time management, it is um, how to deal with conflict re resolution, those kinds of things. But the Youth Connection provides about 26 hours prior to placement with an employer. So we're really excited about the youth that we place and our kids want to work. They want to do something for the summer. Yeah. Um, talk about some of the, the places that, uh, that you're connecting youth with. Oh my goodness, we have the, the water department, we have the mm -hmm. CDC, that's where Maya is placed this year. Um, we have the, the, the police department, uh, the fire department. We really want to make sure that our kids connect to resources that are within the city of Detroit. And we have some of the kids at the Youth Connection as well. Yeah. And they are doing a great job. I have one young lady's doing data entry for me and I am so excited. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Maya, tell us from your perspective how this is all going. How's your summer been? My summer is going great, awesome. It's been a great summer. I'm working with CDC at a garden called Oakland Avenue, and it's amazing. It's amazing. And CDC, it's CDC, CDC, right? Uh, it's a, a community development corporation called yes. CDC as well, yes. right? Uh, tell us a little more about them. Well, I well, I really don't know much. Dr. Dudley could probably tell you a little <laughs> bit more because, you know, so... Well, part of it is that it's one of the nonprofits that partner with us to yeah. take some of our kids. Yeah. And Maya's experience is in the gardening and being yeah. in the community. She wanted to be in her community because she has worked with that CDC for years, even before right? the youth. So she's been with us since she's 14 now. Okay. Okay. And she's a college graduate. Or not a college graduate. She's on her way to college now. Yes. Yeah. So, so tell us about the work that you're doing there, the gardening this summer. and Well, um, the garden is in my community. Uh -huh. It's in my community. And um, I've been working at the garden for a good while now. So I love it. I love it. Um, we do a lot of um, harvesting. We work outside. Um, we're learning how to plant, transplant, do all those different kind of things. And the reason I really love it is because it's helping my community. They're buying um, 
fresh fruits and vegetables from there and it's better than going to the local store and just getting junk food yeah, so yeah. it's very good yeah and so she said uh, you graduated high school and are headed to college tell us about that well, <laughs> yes, I've graduated high school. I'm actually, I'm going to be a sophomore this year. Okay. So, yeah, I've already experienced the college life for the first year. Okay. But I'm going into my sophomore year. And um, the Youth Connection through GDYT has helped me so much, like so much. And um, with um, social skills, because, you know, when you're with the Youth Connection, you talk to a lot of people, you connect with a lot of people. And it's really helped me with college a lot. Yeah. Because I've talked yeah. to a lot of people. So. Right, right. <laughs> I mean, that soft skill development, I'm sure, is one of the things you guys really focus on. It's not just about work. That's right. So every year we've added some additional components to the program. Uh, the soft skills was one of the first things we added, 12 hours of employability training for every young person that goes through the program. Uh, three years ago we started working with the Detroit Wayne Mental Health Authority mm -hmm. and they added on some additional uh, components for, for the folks that they support. So we have uh, 500 young people going through additional mental wellness and mental health training uh, as part of the program this year. So yeah. getting people ready to deal with adults in, um, in <laughs> new problem solving situations yeah. where uh, maybe they haven't been before you know if you've come out of a neighborhood and you didn't have work or you didn't see a lot of it in your household yeah. this is a new experience for you so right. how do you develop those skills yeah uh, Maya tell us about when you first went to go do this uh, how nervous were you and oh extremely nervous <laughs> I was so nervous like I said um, it's helped me with my social skills mm -hmm. didn't know anybody going into the program um, but the Youth Connection has helped me so much. I've made so many friends and so many mentors. Dr. Dudley is one of my mentors. I can call her whenever. And also Miss Nicole Hill, I can call her whenever. So it's, it's very lovely. It's a very lovely place. And it's helped me so much, like I said. Yeah. 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 We've sent Maya out of state uh, to represent the city of Detroit uh -huh. and the Youth Connection, and they did an awesome job. Um, one of the things that we also want to encourage our kids to do is to have their voices heard. Yeah. And I think a work experience, being part of the city of Detroit's summer youth employment, is part of that. And um, Maya went with four other, three other young ladies, and really represented the city extremely well. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, um, when I was a kid in the city, we didn't have anything quite like this and uh, for most of the time in between then and now we haven't had anything like this. Um, I, I wonder what you make of the impact on kids today. I mean the, uh, kids right now have all kinds of different challenges that I didn't have uh, sure. as a kid. This program seems to come along at exactly the right time. Yeah so so I think there's there's multiple er nodes of impact right so one is um, that we're, we're adding in skill training and development for today. So uh, we're on August 2nd, we're gonna be running a, a Young Professionals Conference that builds in the mental health component I mentioned. Uh, and one of the workshops there will be about dealing with bullying and social media online. How do you deal with that? I don't think you maybe had so many of those media. challenges, right? <laughs> um, uh, but we know, we know from the data that we have from our evaluation partners that the program also um, has immediate impact. Those young people are supporting their families, mm -hmm. they're supporting their homes and their communities. Um, uh, and we know it has long-term impact because they've done some controlled analysis now and we see that the young people who go through GDYT, especially for a couple of years, they go to school more often, they're more likely to take those ACT, SAT type mm -hmm. tests, uh, and they're more likely to go to college. So we know they're, they're performing as well or better than their peers after they have this very short intervention, essentially. Yeah, yeah because they have that experience. Yeah. Um, can, you, can you tell us about some of the really standout success stories? I mean, I know we have Maya here and she is one, but uh, what about some of the other kids you've seen over We've here? had a young man that was part of our program and we placed him with our national park partner, uh -huh. National Park Service partner, and he learned how to kayak. Wow. And um, he was also being recruited to be part of a gang. And so he got a call one day and he, and, uh, he told them, I have something better. And that is a, a tremendous oh success. And now yeah. he, uh, we were able to get him to Maine and he called back and he is an electrical engineer oh and he, he credits that summer youth employment experience by coming to the agency and asking is there something I could do yeah. and that's part of it it's part of what how do we engage our youth how do we make sure that failure is not final and how do we make sure that they have they are on that road to success you know and we'll be there every step of the way to make sure that they succeed yeah yeah that's great that's a great story by isn't the way. it awesome yeah. um, uh, it's wonderful that this exists and, and people can reach out and decide to do it. 
I feel like we also have a need to get it to people who may not know about it or may not have that sort of push or initiative to go sign up. Sure, sure. So the website, gdyt.org, is available all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, we really launch off our recruitment activities, both for young people and our employer partners, who we can always use more of. Um, that starts in January, February mm -hmm. each year, usually with uh, a kickoff by the mayor, who's a big champion of this yes, work, and a big supporter, <laughs> right? Um, so we're always open. Go to the website, find out the information uh, that's all available there. Give me a call. Um, yeah. You can track me down on the internet. You yeah. know, that kind of thing. <laughs> I'll keep working. We on need my more slots. <laughs> <laughs> we need more. We need more slots. availability. Absolutely. Right, uh, yeah, right now, we may have a waiting list of about 500 kids just at the Youth Connection. Yeah. Is that right? And so, um, I, my my appeal is to make sure that there's opportunities for all of the kids in the city of Detroit who want to work. Who want to work? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll keep working on my two. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> as well. Thanks Appreciate for being it. here. Thank you. <laughs>